James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is December 16th, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We have a buoy in event mode. It's one of the biggest events I've ever seen. It may be corrupted data, but if it's not, we have a serious problem on our hands. And what's interesting is, is this is right on top of Zealandia that has all of the activity because it's a continent that's rising out of the ocean. We have plate boundaries cracking and joining other plate boundaries. We have volcanic activity. We have the entire continent of Zealandia rising. And now we have a buoy. Buoy 55023. And we're talking about a vent mode here, guys. We're talking about a drop from around 4,700 meters down to zero and then back up. Now, I don't know if this is corrupted data or not, but we're going to get the event details. This looks very, very bad. Almost like, well, we've had a hole to the center of the earth open up and then quickly close. And perhaps a volcano under the ocean actually did so. Over to the water column height at buoy 55. 023. Believe it or not, this is the event mode, and you're going to see how huge that little red event is. And now the water column height has dropped from about 4,700 feet down to zero. There's no way to explain this whatsoever unless it's bad data, but we did get a huge, absolutely huge event earlier at 3 GMT time. Let's take a look at that event. It was one of the very biggest buoy events I have ever seen. Water column height at station 55023. This is that little bitty red speck that I showed you. And it covers minute by minute what happened. The water column was right below 4,600 feet. Went down, it looks like about 40 meters almost 40 meters, but then it shot up to 4620. And we're talking about the height here of 4625 down to 4560. It's going to be a difference of 62, 63 meters. Now that is an event to remember. 63 meters of difference between that height right there and that trough right there. Now, meter, a meter, a little more than a yard. If you think about it that way, it's really not so hard. So what we'll do, we'll do it the easy way. 63 times 3, almost 200 feet difference within just a minute or two on that buoy. And then the water column went to zero. What is happening? Again, here is our buoy, 55023. And there is that little red dot right there is the event that we just looked at. And then the water column dropped off to nothing. Where it has stayed, I don't know what this blue part is here. Wow. Let's take a quick look and see if there were any major volcanic events right there on top of that. Heading over to VolcanoesAndEarthquakes.com. This is the general area. We have a lot of volcanoes active in that area. I don't see any earthquakes reported whatsoever. This is the continent of Zlandia rising. I will show you all that right now. It is or does seem to be rising very quickly. You can see the activity in New Zealand. And all the awakening, there's four awakening volcanoes right here, two more here, six awakening volcanoes just in this small little area here, all associated with Zealandia, the continent that's rising out of the ocean. Let's take a look at that continent, try to figure out what is going on. 
You'll see the Zelandia continent outlined here with a red line. Now this is a guesstimate. I believe that it could also go in this direction here and be even larger. They've outlined their proposal. This is Wikipedia for Zelandia Rising, covering, well, all of New Caledonia up here. If it does go in this direction, this will all be Fiji and Tonga. I believe that this is all part of the continent here. I don't know why they've chosen to stop it here when you can clearly see the continental shelf here. These are all volcanoes lined up all the way around it. It's probably a larger volcano and uh, probably trying to make its way to the surface, kind of like Tasmania already has. What do we see here? Well, we see it also encompasses all of New Zealand, who now wants to disembark being a country. I'm guessing they're going to try to do a land grab based on this continent that they say is rising. So, God bless you and yours, folks. What a show. If anyone has any idea what happened to that buoy, please let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.